Here comes the science bit. It's only one that's ever. So, Professor Nico, I noticed the first thing is collar up. Very important. Always do it with style. So this is the first part uh, today. Professor Nico is going to explain uh, to you how this works. Okay. <laughs> so. This year, um, we've gone to much smaller combustion engines, so that's less horsepower, yeah? But how we get the horsepower back is by using a turbo. And a turbo is, um, it's a little uh, flywheel, yeah, like that, spinning right through the air intake and pushing and compressing the air at higher and higher speeds with a lot of pressure. And so having more air in that tiny space will give you a bigger explosion. So this is now our normal combustion engine in a, in a completely normal state, right there. Yeah. Oh. Small amount of heat, but hardly anything. And now, here comes the turbo. Do you need some hairstyling uh, yeah, go. today? There we go, very good, very good. So this is, our, um, this is our turbo. You'll see the effect of our combustion engine with a lot more compressed air. So it's glowing red hot. Yeah? yeah, it's getting really, really hot. So that was the best example of the effect of a turbo, you know? It just gives us so much more energy in that small combustion engine that we now have. And that's more horsepower, much quicker down the straight. It's the Nico, strange place to park your car. Yes, uh, <laughs> indeed to show the best possible or the simplest way of explaining this whole compressor functionality in my engine. Now we have this spinning wheel here, which is the compressor, yeah, which is uh, what makes up a turbo engine. It's this, this part here. With the exhaust gases coming out from this small engine, and the faster, the more RPM I get, the faster the exhaust gases come out, the faster the exhaust gases spin up this compressor wheel, and that then in turn, Will, will allow a bigger explosion in the engine. But the special thing this year is not only is that turbo engine, but also this little compressor wheel is connected to a small motor, which in turn will convert into electrical power, which has an example here, I'm a, which is being charged yeah, by this thing turning. Okay. And so it's building more and more electrical battery power, which it's saving. So this says discharging. So if I went and put my foot on the throttle, then it will massively charge and it will probably, <laughs> it will get so much energy. Shall we it see will what get happens? so much energy, go for it. If anyone forgets their battery charger, we know what to do. We've got one more part of our experiment. Let's take a look. It's moment three, the NGU can. And now here we've come to the, to the place which is ac actually one of the most easiest parts to explain. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've put four phones here because this is the way uh, most of the battery charge is produced. To start off with, I'm going to go on full throttle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. now you can imagine me going down the straight. Flat out 10 down the straight, 10 miles an hour. I think I'll be doing a little bit more, hopefully. <laughs> so now I come to the end, of the end of the straight and I do a full braking, yeah? Full braking, I go on the brakes. All the drones are charging up massively quickly. You know, they're all full on charge. And that's because there's a little motor connected to the engine, yeah? yeah? And the engine is turning this motor very, very quickly. And under braking, that motor switches, yeah? And decides, okay, now I'm gonna take all that rotational speed and I'm going to transform it into electricity and charge the batteries and then I come out of the corner I go back on throttle yeah yeah and what happens then the motor does the opposite so okay. it uses up the battery energy it's an incredible amount of technology how different do the cars feel from your seat to actually drive this year from last year in terms of all this uh, technology it's really really similar is there uh, more for you to do in the cockpit this year 
A lot more buttons, yes. Yeah. A lot more button systems, things to get used to. But I think a lot of it is just because it's all new. Do you feel that your engineering interest and, and background helps you at all this year? My, my approach to the sport is that I, I, I'm interested in the whole technology and I want to uh, look into it because I hope that I can get myself a little bit of an advantage over maybe some others. It's good. So children, listen to Professor Nico is the yes. moral of today. Professor Nico's advice from today, pay attention to maths and physics classes. <laughs>